hello! Welcome back to my channel. I'm currently in Gatwick Airport in the North Terminal, past security, and I thought I'd do a quick show around of what shops they have here at Gatwick, because whenever I'm coming to an airport, I always want to know what's going to be there, what shops, what restaurants, all the good stuff. So I thought I'd do a quick show around for anyone who might be traveling this way. By the way, I just asked someone what the difference is between this terminal and the South. There's not that much difference, except the North has got the Harry Potter shop, which is just over there. There's the Harry Potter shop. We're gonna go in there in a minute. And the South has got Nando's, whereas the North doesn't, and a Next, which is not the end of the world, but if you're like me and you're a Nando's lover, then it is quite sad. Underneath the departures board, you've got the Harry Potter shop. Let's go and have a look what they've got. Straight away, you can see the magic frogs. Oh, who remembers those from the train scene? Every flavour beans! Look at the flavours on these. You've got some really, really funny ones like dirt, earthworm, earwax. I've tried that one before. Vomit, that is disgusting. It's so unlucky if you get that one. And at the airport, these are 6 63 whereas normally they are 7 95 Price of women's shirts here at 1667. Normal price is 20, so that's quite good. If you're ever in this airport, stock up on your Harry Potter merch. I'm a Hufflepuff, but I don't have any merch. One thing I would really like and use would be a Hufflepuff teacup because I always drink tea. But I'm not too bothered about the hats or scarves. Like, can you see me wearing that? Maybe. <laughs> That is actually really cute for your passport. The passport holder, how much is that? 12.50, that's really cute. I kind of want to get that, but I didn't bring my passport with me today, so I'm only flying to Edinburgh, so you don't need it. That's very cute. Who saw my Primark video? These are very in fashion right now, these kind of Time Turners necklace. They're so in. All the ones over there. Some mugs, oh nice. Oh, I like that one. That's massive. Oh yeah. It's really nice. How much is that? Oh, that's only £10. That's tempting. I really like that. Right, I had to get out of there because I need to show you more of what they have here. They've got a Harrods pop-up. So if you visited London but you didn't manage to get to a Harrods, this is a perfect opportunity to buy someone a gift and pretend you went to the real Harrods. Wow. Now this is more like it. Bone China. I bet that's bone China. Fine China. That's lovely. Did you know that this week, as I'm filming, is National Afternoon Tea Week? Oh my gosh, the Christmas section. <gasps> Harrods mince pies, you can buy them all year round. <gasps> Christmas pudding. That is so exciting. But yeah, don't mean to timestamp this video, but it is currently National Afternoon Tea Week in the UK. So maybe I should go treat myself. It's all very, very similar to the stuff you get in Fortnum and Mason. I've had stuff like that from Fortnum's before. It's very nice. You got the classic Harrods Bear key rings. These are iconic. And so is the, the gold font on the green. £104 for this teapot. Wow. Nobody should do that. <laughs> got the bag section inside Harrods. Got laptop bags over there for men. Women's designer bags. There's so many bags. These are fantastic, this brand Longchamp. I've got one of their travel bags and it's still going. It's still in good shape. They last a long time. Just in front of me here, you've got WH Smith for books, pharmacy, everyday stuff, snacks for the plane. You've got another bookshop and Ray-Ban for all your sunglasses, maybe before your holiday. Dixon's Travel, that's always quite good for, if you don't know it already, you can get you can get lots of your technology from there. So I remember one year I bought a camera at that Dixon's. I think it's this camera I'm holding. So that was good. Dixon's is great for travel headphones, cameras, discounted memory cards. In fact, my memory card is flashing up at me right now that it's nearly full, so I might have to pop in there. And then Joe Malone and Bobby Brown, that's exciting. I'm walking towards it. Normally 
obviously my everyday pressed powder that I use on top of my foundation is from Bobbi Brown. So I probably will be popping in there to top up on that because I'm running out. That's a fantastic idea actually. I just keep coming up with good ideas in this video. If you're not already familiar with Jo Malone, they've got iconic candles. They make scents burn, amongst other things, but their candles are probably their best thing. Super expensive though. Just walked past a Ted Baker, which is great for women's wear. It's probably a little bit more pricey than average high street brands, but you can get some really, really nice things. Also their accessories are very, very nice. I once got a phone case from Ted Baker and it was pretty amazing. I kept it on for about a year. And Summers, if you've forgotten a bra or if you want something raunchy, they also do toys. You've got Fat Face. I've never really shopped in Fat Face, but they do have lots of like beachy vibes. I think they're quite uh, eco. I think they're an eco brand. Super dry just there. Very annoying. My camera battery just died as I was talking about uh, Kath Kidston and Oliver Bonas which is up there. I never know how you say that shop. Is it Oliver Bonas or Oliver Bonas? I'm sure I'll find out in the comments. They've also got an accessorize which I absolutely love. You can easily spend a lot of money in here on like jewelry and cute little bits and bobs. I've got to show you. Some cheap sunglasses. These are only 10 pounds loads of jewelry cute stuff in here they've also got clothing emergency stuff as i like to call it i've never bought anything with an l on it because i've always thought it meant loser instead of leah <laughs> god that's soft that's a bit of me the cheapest place to buy water before a flight is always boots so i'll be stocking up on that but not just yet because i'll have to carry it around for like half an hour for food in the north terminal you've got a massive weather spoons which is right here you can also uh get cheap drinks at weather spoons and then they've also got uh, Comptoir Libyans. This is probably my favourite place to eat. They do a really nice falafel wrap, which is $8.75. Not too bad for airport prices. You've also got the standard places like Pret, Jamie's Italian, which is Jamie Oliver's place, and a few other little takeaways. Oh, also, if you want to do it really cheaply, you could always get a meal deal from Boots. It's a sandwich, packet of crisps and a drink for, I think it's like three or four pounds. You can't complain at that. So yeah, that's everything for food. I think I'm gonna go get myself that wrap and then I will keep showing you what else we have down here. There's some more stuff in like the designer area. I can see Hugo Boss. So perhaps we'll have a little mooch around there too. That's a top view of Weatherspoons. Just so you can see how popular it is. That's all the other stuff. Sonoma. I've got no idea what that is, but it's also a food place. Oh my god, yes. I ordered extra tomatoes because that's just my fave. They don't normally come with this. Falafel wrap, bit of hummus. Mm -mm. I'm so full up. That was lovely. Now I'm going to show you the rest of Gatwick. I mean, I do realise that you probably could just Google half of this, but sometimes it's just nice to see inside, isn't it? Like, for instance, up here, you've got a pretty good view of everything. Oh, this is the other place I didn't choose to have lunch. Let's see what this is. Oh, all day breakfast, loaded burgers. Yeah, I think I made the right choice because I was in the mood for Lebanese. I'm standing in front of Jack Wills and I just got this memory of when I begged my parents to drive me to the Jack Wills in Guildford in Surrey because I'd never been to a Jack Wills. I was desperate, I was desperate for Jack Wills clothes and to just go inside the store and have a look. This was years ago, by the way. I have grown up a little bit since, but it's very like, British preppy. I'd say that's their brand. It's like British Abercrombie. So yeah, you can imagine the years of my life that I was obsessed with that. <laughs> no longer. I think they're really cool though. They have really reinvented themselves. And actually I was, I did fall in love with a pair of denim shorts in there recently, but I held off and didn't buy them. Kath Kidston. The cutest stuff ever. Super, super cute. Like I used to wish my uh, my kitchen was all Kath Kidston style. <gasps> my favorite, Oliver Bonas. How do you say it? This shop is so nice for gifts. It's just got some really cute things. Like, what's this? That's really cute makeup brush set. Oh, I've dropped one. That's really nice. Now I want that. How much is that? 30 pounds, but you get all the brushes. <laughs> That's my problem. I want everything. That's cute. Is that a sleep hot water bottle? I think it is. Life is great, life is great, life is great, life is great. <laughs> it's what we all tell ourselves. That's interesting. Oh, shiny on this side and then like matte on this side. 
I like. I am in the market for a new purse. And when I say purse, I mean like the British version of purse, which is like money holder and card holder, not like purse like that, the American version. But ooh, or a nice like, let me show you my current card holder. So this is my current card holder, which is from Oliver Bonas. And I've just seen these ones. That's cute. Oh, that's nice. Maybe orange. Oh, we've got animal print as well on the cards. Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, that one's got, nah, I'm not keen on that. The sale wall, my favorite. I always wonder if I could get away with big hoop earrings or if they're just gonna look silly. This headband is a little bit of me. I might have to get that. <laughs> I think if I get this, this has to be my last animal print purchase ever because it's gone too far. Oh my god, the homeware is just amazing. Oh, look at that makeup bag. Oh no, that's the, that's amazing. <laughs> Not quite sure how anyone's going to take this home when travelling in their hand luggage, but all lovely stuff imagine having your jewelry like there cute 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 of course i bought it my first and only airport purchase apart from the food <laughs> was the headband i just had to get it i should have just worn it right now because i'm in love with it and uh, me and the shop assistant had a good chat about how leopard print is still in but how once it was so not in at all so behind me uh there is a seafood caviar restaurant place which you tend to find at a lot of airports these days and then you've got Karen Millen, which is women's designer clothes, lots of dresses. Dune, which is good for shoes. Not sure if it's called Dune or Dune. <laughs> D-U, Dune. And then Hugo Boss, menswear but not women's. Just got a bit blown away by someone doing a magic trick. <laughs> That's pretty mad, look at this. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, stuff like that. I'm, I'm like a child, like if something like that happens, I'm like, What's that going on? So yeah, the, the caviar house behind me, I would never eat there, but you know, some people would. Oh, I forgot to tell you, food-wise, there is a Wagamama's inside here, and there's also a Yo Sushi. And one fun fact about all Wagamama's that are within an airport is that they're the only Wagamama that offer breakfasts. Sorry, I struggle with the word breakfast. Bre you can't get a brekkie, I'll just say brekkie. You can't get a brekkie at a normal Wagamama in London or elsewhere, but in airports you can. Oh my gosh, more leopard print. It needs to stop. It's too much. I'm addicted. <laughs> oh, Skinny Dip. This is a really cool brand and they do like phone cases, sort of little stuff like this. Cute little bits and bobs. Oh, look at these eye masks. These look amazing. Makeup bags, really cute for like young girls. Really appeals to like teenagers as well, but I don't think I'm too old for this stuff. I love it. You've got loads of phone cases here as well. Is that the Sebastian from The Little Mermaid? The one who sings Darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. That's so good. <laughs> oh, I really want that now. Uh, oh, 12.50. Shall I just get it? Oh, that's so good. Don't know if I can. I'm spending too much. Right, I need to stop now. <laughs> do I treat myself to all of that or do I just say no? Oh, Leah. Oh, look, Kinder Eggs are half price. But that is very expensive for a little Kinder Egg. No one should be paying that. Okay, my gate has been announced. Shopping is over. I hope you've enjoyed that little mini Gatwick North Airport tour. I think it might be helpful for some of you. Uh, if not, I hope you've enjoyed the video anyway. Please share it with someone. Share my channel with someone who you think might like it. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.